Hi, this is Richard Chamberlain. Welcome back to the Protecting Your Family's Future podcast. This is episode number 116. Today, we're going to be talking about a principle in estate planning, and that is you hope for the best, but plan for the worst. And by that, I mean, when we're sitting and we're talking with clients about designing their estate plan, what do you want it to do? They often come into the meeting with the idea that they are going to live for another 20 or 30 or 50 more years. They will die at a, at a ripe old age, not having had any kind of a uh, health issue or incapacity issues that their children will all survive them. And so the assets should go to their children. And we plan for that possibility because we're hoping that that scenario will be the one that plays out. But we know in having that discussion that that might not be the case, that the the best laid plans don't always go the way we want them to. So we have to plan for the worst case scenario. And that is, well, what happens if you do become incapacitated sometime before you pass away? Who's going to manage your assets for you? And how will they manage them? Will they have the authority to do this or that? Who's going to be taking care of things? Who's going to be making your healthcare decisions for you if you aren't able to make them yourself? And yes, you want your assets to go to your children. But what if one of your children doesn't survive you? You know, God forbid that one of your children passes away before you do. What would happen with their share? Do they have children at that point? Do they not have children at that point? Are they married? So we have to talk through all the different scenarios. And we even need to have an idea about the, the doomsday scenario. We call that the remote contingent possibility. And that is, if you want your assets to go to your children when you pass away, and they're not living, you would like the assets to go to their children but but let's say you don't have any living descendants. Well, then what? You know, would it go to other family members? Would it go to charity? Would it go to uh, just friends? But we need to talk through all the different scenarios. You know, you want this to happen, but what if circumstances are different? We need to plan for that. So when you're making an estate plan, you build in the flexibility for. This is what we would like to happen, but if that can't happen, then we've already addressed that possibility. The plan has anticipated that, and this is what will happen instead. That's a good estate plan. And of course, that needs to be updated over time as your circumstances change, as your goals change. So it's not a uh, set it and forget it kind of a thing. You still need to look at it from time to time to make sure that it's still what you want to happen, but go into your estate planning meeting, hoping for the best, but plan for the worst. I hope that's helpful for you today and we'll see you again next week. Thanks.